Raising children is definitely the most important thing in our lives. It's the most important thing that we've ever done as a couple. And you know, just when you figured out or you think you have it figured out with regard to raising children, um, God gives you a completely different set of um, idiosyncrasies and a uh, different set of characteristics to work with, different strengths, different weaknesses. For example, our oldest, Alexa, she is definitely our humanitarian. She is the, uh, the nicest person. She is, she's the one that, as many of you know, started the nonprofit here in San Antonio, Project Christ. She's the type of person that will work for free. She will give you the shirt off her back and she is the hardest worker in the room. Caden, on the other hand, he will not give you the shirt off his back, but he will definitely sell it to you. <laughs> He'll sell it to you for a really good price. He is just, he's always been this way. I don't know where he gets it. It's the complete opposite of Alexa. and It's absolutely hysterical. And um, he's not my humanitarian. He is my businessman. He has always been a businessman. He has been entrepreneurial and industrious since the time that he was a little kid. Steve and I listened to him, you know, talking to, on a business call or talking to a potential buyer for whatever it is he's selling. And it's absolutely incredible, the industry knowledge that he has when he latches onto something and decides that he wants to, you know, to learn all about it. Um, and then there's Colton. He's the most creative little kid. He has the biggest heart and he's always got these really big ideas about how to do things, very specific ideas about how to do things. And I think that he sees it in his head and he sees it as almost like a movie or a show in his head and trying to articulate that and get that out so that other people see his vision. I think he might be our next Steven Spielberg. You just never know. He's just a really, he's a really interesting kid. And finally, Ava, oh my goodness. Ava just turned six years old. The girl is the sweetest, kindest, most loving, joyful child you will ever, ever, ever meet. She always has something positive to say about someone. She always has a compliment for somebody and she's brought so much joy into our lives, I can't even describe it. Um, she's also very athletic. Maybe she will be our athlete, who knows. So all this to say that I think that our job as parents, and especially my job as, as a mom, is to figure out what strengths they have as children and figure out what path they can take in life so that their strengths can be maximized and they can be successful and eventually they, they can grow up and start their own businesses or work for somebody or start, start a company where they're doing something that not only do they love, but that they're really naturally good at and they utilize the gifts that God gave them so that they can be successful and they can live a purposeful life. And I think that, you know, kind of tying that back to what I was saying about me and Steven is I think that we have both put ourselves in positions through our businesses where we're doing what we're good at because not only do we love what we do, but we have found a way to carve out responsibilities for ourselves that, that kind of speaks to our own individual strengths. And then we also have a partnership where we respect those strengths in each other.